Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about Jane Carter Solutions Curls to Go Untangle Me Weightless Leave-In. I had filmed a video reviewing and demoing the line. I will link that video down below in the description box if you want to see the other products in this line. When I went to Ricky's and purchased all the products because at the time they were having a buy one and get 50% off, so of course I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna get the whole line because I want to try the whole line. I didn't realize that I didn't pick up the leave-in. I didn't see it. I don't remember seeing it when I was grabbing all the products. But when I went on Jane Carter's Instagram, they were having a live video and were talking about this product. So I eventually picked it up. And I used this three times, maybe four, and I really love this leave-in. I love it especially with their Coiling All Curls gel together. This is my hair applied in my usual wash and go method where I just section off two parts and zhuzh through the product. No more parts than that. And I let it air dry. It's completely dry. And you see the, this is like really great definition. And I realized I like the gel a lot better when layered on their leave-in more so than their creamier style. They have a, uh, a cream styler that I applied with the gel. And I like the, I like the results, but I really love these. It just seems that the leave-in highlights the gel's properties more so. My curls look plump, they're shiny, they have bounce, they have shape. The elongation stayed very well throughout the drying process and my hair didn't shrink that much. If I wanted it to be longer, I'll just take my blow dryer and pull it a bit. But I like the length it is now. And I think another thing I love about this leave-in is how incredibly soft it leaves my hair. Silky, soft, it does not feel like I have a gel. And there's no flakiness. And I wanted to address that because I've seen feedback on this gel claiming that it can get flaky and it can dry with a very heavy cast. The first time I applied the gel on the Untangle Me, I did use their Detox Me shampoo from their hair, healthy hairline. So I made sure that any product residue I had before was totally washed off so this could perform really well. And then today I just co-washed. So I went in with my Uncle Funky's Daughter Richie Rich conditioner. And when I wet my hair before, I went in with the conditioner, I felt that there was something on my hair, that there was remnants of the gel. Uh, I'm talking maybe two days after I freshly applied the gel and untangle me. And yeah, I did feel that there was product on my hair and I would have felt maybe more comfortable using more of a sudsing product to get the uh, gel off. But I felt that it more or less shampooed or conditioned out with my Richie Rich. And yeah, I didn't experience any major flakage. Uh, and I put on a healthy amount of this. I'm maybe like a globs worth on this side and a glob and a half's worth on this side. And that just speaks volumes on how well the leave-in performs. The scent I'm not too crazy about. It is that same perfumey scent that I had described in my Jane Carter review video. So it's, it's the same fragrance. But the performance of this leave-in is outstanding. It's so conditioning. It has incredible slip. And I think that's why the gel slips through really well. More so than when I had applied, as I mentioned, on the creamier styler. That it caught at some moments and I had to go in a little slower with my fingers. This I was able to zhuzh through with, with, without any effort. And... All again, because of this leave-in, the slip again is incredible. I love how my hair feels hydrated and it's shiny. And again, it has life, it has bounce. My curls feel elastic and plump and spirally. They just have great body and texture. And it, my hair keeps fairly well, even though I will put this up later. I see the little things flying around because I'm in front of my window, but I, I would expect that from any gel and let alone this one. 
considering that I've read and heard that it can get flaky. But I feel like as long as I don't see it on my hair, I don't mind it. And the times where I applied the gel and had to dry my hair because it was near my bedtime, it did soften it up a tiny bit. So if you wanted a softer hold from this gel, you would use a diffuser attachment on your hair dryer and that will kind of, I think, eliminate or lessen the flake factor with this product. But if you do let it air dry completely, I think it would leave more of a heavier cast on the hair. So be aware of that. If you wanted to air dry versus blow dry, those are the results I discovered in those different situations. All in all though, I love this combination. I really do. This Untangle Me is really great and with their Coiling All Curls, currently one of my favorite combinations. And I am looking to try their leave-in with maybe my Curly Magic or my Curl Queen or my other gels that I... Whoa. Something still had a little water on it. Again, I'm looking forward to combining that product with my other gels. And I wanted to get on here so I could show you guys the results. It's just a little, another close-up. I mean, these curls aren't going anywhere. And I am amazed at how much definition I have from my Super Wash & Go. Two parts, that's all I did. It looked like I went in on smaller sections and... I didn't. I just judged through and like I said, that leave-in makes it so easy to apply this gel that the slip is amazing and it just slides through. My hair gets coated very quickly and I don't, I feel like I don't need to apply to smaller sections because this is this is how small I would take my hair. I wouldn't want it to get smaller than this. And I considered going in with my hair dryer before I got on camera just to fluff it out a tiny bit because I do like a little frizziness in my hair with definition. I just think it gives a little more character and texture to the overall look. That's how I like to wear my hair. If you find that you want more definition, less frizz, then yeah, definitely let it air dry for as long as you can and maybe use more gel. But this is this is pretty much the shape I prefer overall. And yeah, so let me know your thoughts on this product. If you used it before, alone, with the coiling all curls, or with another gel by itself, I would love to hear about it. And of course, hearing about any of the products in the curls to go line their co-wash their curly styler their i believe their shine on is a spray on oil which is really nice a really nice finisher with a lovely scent i like that scent in that product mm -hmm. and any other jane carter solution products that you are currently using have used in the past mm -hmm. Let me know. Thank you again so much for watching. I hope this video helped. Thank you for your continued support. I am so sorry that I haven't been getting to the comments and replying as quickly as I would like. Again, the stupid YouTube thing that doesn't allow me to post my replies and then I can't get to replying days after and it's delayed. <sighs> I'm gonna try to tackle some of your comments today or hopefully before. <laughs> When I post this video, there's a very aggressive truck outside my window beating the horn. And until next time, I'll see you on here with another product, my thoughts on it, maybe a makeup tutorial, random things. Yeah, see you guys soon.